for the lovely music that played us in and I wonder if you can guess where I am this morning. Um, I thought it might be nice to sort of see things from a different perspective because I thought it would be a good idea for us to think a little bit about perspectives today. Perspectives are generally how you look at things and how you look at school is going to be different to how you used to look at school. You've been looking at it different because you've been doing online learning and that's been different to doing it in a classroom and come August we're hoping we're going to be able to all back, be back together and to do our learning in classrooms and that again is going to look different we should think but you'll find out more about that in the next few weeks so without any more hesitations I think we should get on with our private assembly today and I'd like to introduce the house captains who are going to talk about the merits hey guys Eagle house captain here again um, today we've only got one house merit to award, but this is a really good effort because it is a head of secondary award, which is quite a few merits. So today this goes to Chuan and David, and we're so grateful for your efforts while you're away from school, still keeping up the good work, and we'd love to see some more merits next week again. Thank you. Morning guys, I just want to say congratulations to our merit winner for this week, and that's Lillian Katoon. She got her gold award, and I hope the rest of you keep up the hard work in the coming weeks. Hi guys, for this week, Hawk has three merit awards. We have a bronze going to Pedri van der Mer, so well done to you. We have a gold going to Gianna Chiesa, and we have head of secondary going to Masvita Pasi. So well done to all of you guys, and keep up the hard work. I hope you're staying safe, and yeah, hope you have a good week. See you next time. Okay, thank you, House Captains. And let's head over to Miss Nantu, who's going to talk about the Accelerated Readers Awards this week. Good morning to you all. This week, on the AR reading, we only have one certificate to give out. Well, in as much as uh, it's good that you're reading, we'd like to see more certificates being presented. Could you please read more books on the AR uh, so that we get those certificates so that we meet the million words all right. So for this week, the certificate goes to Jason Street and it is the Star Reading Award. Thank you very much, Jason Street, and the rest, please keep reading because without reading, we cannot acquire more knowledge. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the week. Thank you, Miss Nandu and some information about the Mayon reading scheme from Miss Boilia. Um, you clever bunch, you've read 268 books since the schema started at the beginning of term three, which is 175 hours of reading. But I think you can do better than that. I think that you can do a lot better than that. So get your books out and get reading. Get on Mayon and download yourself a book. So now it's time to celebrate the work of some of our students. So I'd like to hand over to Timon Kridolfa, who's done a book report that he's going to share with us now. This is my book review on George's Marvelous Medicine, written by Roald Dahl. The story takes place on a farm, miles away from any town or village, and the main character, George, a little nine-year-old boy, lives in a house with his mother, his father, and his old grandmother. The problem is, in the story, that the grandmother is mean and selfish and she bosses George around 
but only when his mother and father are not in the house. One day, George decides that he wants to do something about this. Every day at 11 o'clock, his grandmother has to take a dose of this thick brown medicine. So, one day, he, he decides that he is going to make a different brown medicine for his grandmother to take. In his medicine, he puts anything he can find. So first he goes into the bathroom and finds some shampoo and whatsoever. And then he goes downstairs and finds some more things. And at 11 o'clock, he gets his medicine ready and he prepares to give it to his grandmother. Now I'm not gonna finish the story because that would ruin it. So in my opinion, the book was very funny and it was a very easy book to read and that's why I liked it. Um, it was excellently written. And um, I really liked the part when he started putting the things in and he started reading the labels because there were some jokes in the labels. And um, the medicine reaction, the, the, the reaction that the grandmother had to the medicine was also uh, quite shocking and it wasn't very believable, but still, even though it was still very funny. Um, I would recommend this book to younger readers who are like in primary even because it really is an easy book to read and yeah it's just an amazing book written by Roald Dahl and if you want something you can read in an evening you should try it. to all of those of you who took part in the photo competition and produced all those wonderful traditional foods and seeing as we're thinking a little bit about perspectives how about you look at things in a different perspective the photo competition this week is all about fancy dress so get your costumes out and take your photos hi Really fun, quick announcement for you guys. So, we're going to be hosting a magazine exclusive competition. Now, what this means is we're going to challenge you guys in three categories. And the winners of these creative um, categories will be submitted in the school magazine um, for everyone to see, right? So, the three categories are art, um, creative writing, and article writing. Now, for the creative's writing, you'll be limited to 300 words, and it can be any form of creative writing, poetry, short story, anything. The article writing, self-explanatory, you'll be limited to 350 words. And then for the art, obviously any poster, collage, art piece, painting, drawing, anything. So the theme is um, student excellence, overcoming adversity and supporting one another in a changing world. The deadline for this competition will be the 15th of June, <laughs> the 15th of June. Um, and how you're going to submit it is you're going to submit it to an email address, your piece to an email address with a 20 to 30 word motivation as to why you wrote the piece. What is it about and what's your process? Thank you guys for listening. We're going to be really um, excited to see what you guys produce.